Hello everybody and today we're going to talk dynamic range. So a while ago in my ATD review video, I said that the ATD had no improvement in dynamic range whatsoever. Turns out that was inaccurate. So first off, I have to apologize for the misinformation, but then again, in the creative industry, it's very important to listen to feedback and learn from your mistakes. So this calls for a reassessment, which is exactly what we are going to do today. So today I'm going to be comparing the dynamic range of the 70D to the 80D and also to the Canon EOS 5D Mark III because I have heard claims that the dynamic range of the 80D trumps over the Canon 5D Mark III. So from what I've seen so far, the ATD has a great dynamic range improvement when it comes to shadow recovery, however not so much in the highlights area. So let's take a look at the highlights area right now over in Adobe Lightroom. So here is a shot taken with the Canon EOS ATD. As you can see on the right hand side of the image, we have a lot of blown out highlights. And we're going to test the highlight recovery. The way we're going to do it is we're going to bring down the exposure and see at what point do the highlights stop recovering. All of these are raw files by the way, no JPEGs here only CR2 raw files. So pay attention to the histogram up here. I'm going to bring down the exposure. And as you can see, there's going to be a point whereby we stop pulling information out of the highlights and it's just a flat line. So I'm going to try to align that flat line with the right edge of the histogram. And as you can see, we stop being able to pull information out of the highlights after we've gone past 1.8 stops. So let's try the same for the Canon EOS 70D and see how far we can push it. I'm going to bring it down, down, down. And it's about two stops. So from what we've seen here, the 70D actually performs better in highlights by about 0.2 stops compared to the 80D. So let's take a look at the 5D Mark III. Here's the image from the 5D Mark III. We're going to do exactly the same. All of these shots, all three of these shots were taken at ISO 320, by the way. So I'm going to keep bringing it down. It's doing a lot better. As you can see, it peaks at about 2.2 stops. So not too much of a surprise there. The 5D Mark III is a full frame sensor and it's performed better than the 80D and the 70D. However, what's surprising is the 80D actually has worse highlight performance compared to the 70D. It could just be my unit, but these are the results I'm getting. So let's move on to the shadow recovery. So here I have three very dark pictures taken with each camera at their base ISO, which is ISO 100. So the way I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to bring up the exposure by five stops for each image, and then I'll be zooming in and taking a look at how much noise is introduced. I'll make sure the noise reduction is set to zero, which it already is. So this is the image for the 70D taken at ISO 100 with plus five stops exposure. So I'm going to zoom into the left Oreo over here. This is not a paid product placement, by the way. I just love Oreos. And this is the amount of noise we are getting. So let's take a look at the 80D, which is this one. I'm going to zoom back out. and plus five stops exposure, zoom it in. As we can see, we instantly have a very good result compared to the 70D. I'm gonna jump over to the 70D image right now. The 80D is doing much, much better. As you can see, there is a lot less of this uh, grainy chromatic noise over on the 80D. It's very clean. Let's see the 5D Mark III. Bring it up by five stops, zoom it in, and it is worse than the ATD. You can see there is a lot of FPN over here, fixed pattern noise. I'm jumping to the ATD. The ATD is much, much cleaner than the 5D Mark III. Quite a shocking result. It is way, way better than the 5D Mark III in terms of shadow recovery, given that the 5D is actually a full frame sensor. So I'm now gonna show these three images side by side so you can have a good hard look and compare at how different the results are. So now let's have a look at the same three images, however taken at higher ISOs, and see if we get the same result. So here's the same image taken from the ATD, however at ISO 320. So I'm going to do the same, increase it by five stops, zoom it in. As you can see, still pretty clean, however there's definitely more noise than the one shot at ISO 100. 
No surprise to that, it is a higher ISO. So let's compare that to the 70D right now. Plus five stops, ISO 320, zoom it in. And definitely more noise than the 80D. I'm going to jump over to the 80D and the 70D. Yes, the 70D is definitely noisier. However, I noticed that the difference is much less compared to the images taken at ISO 100. So let's take a look at the 5D3. Again, the 5D3 is still noisier than the 80D right here. As you can see, you can make out much more detail on the 80D shot. And here's the shot from the 70D, the noisiest of the three, I believe. 5D, 80D, 70D. However, at ISO 320, the difference is not as jarring as the results we saw over on ISO 100. Now let's kick it up a notch and take a look at the same test at ISO 3200. Here is a shot from the ATD. Bring it up by five stops. You can see horrible, really just horrible. Look at that amount of noise. We cannot see anything. Here is the 70D shot. Plus five stops, ISO 3200. Pretty bad as well. Let's compare that to the ATD. For some reason, I'm giving the edge to the 70D in this test. Let's have a look at the 5D Mark III. Bring it up by five stops. Zoom it in. Incredibly noisy as well. Neither of these three images are usable. However, let's take a look. The 80D is noisy as ever. All these three shots were taken at the exact same settings. The 70D, 5D Mark III. I'm going to say the 5D Mark III wins at ISO 3200, so we get very different results at different ISO settings. At their base ISO, the ATD performs outstandingly. As we move up the ISO range, the gap is gradually closed. And as we move into the high ISO range, i.e. ISO 3200, we get very, very different results like the ones we have here. So that is pretty much it for today, everybody. That concludes my test of the dynamic range showdown between the 70D, ATD, and the 5D. Mark III. I'll be releasing these raw files to my patrons over on my Patreon page. If you like what I do and you'd like to support me, you can do so by being a patron over on my Patreon page. Links in the description below. Apart from that, if you have any questions, any comments regarding this, maybe you disagree with my results or you're getting different results or you just want an opinion, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.